from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, April 10th. I'm Caitlin Francis. In New Britain, a home on East Street is heavily damaged after a fire. Take a look at this video. It was taken about 8 o'clock last night from our crews. We are still trying to find out if anyone was injured in that fire. We'll, of course, bring you updates on air and the Channel 3 app. On to some breaking news out of Southington this morning where a water main break has shut off the water for several houses on the streets. Customers on Curtis Street, Maplewood Road, Meander Lane and Little Fawn Road should expect disruptions in their water service. Southington police and crews with the utility company are investigating. And as we learn more, we'll of course keep you updated again on air and the Channel 3 app. In Berlin, a family is now without a place to stay after a fire there damaged parts of their home. Kensington Fire says the call came in just after 7 yesterday morning. That fire reportedly started on the rear porch and then extended through the attic. The fire chief said putting out this fire was a challenge because the crews had limited access to water. Uh, this is a non hydrated area is one of our more difficult areas in terms of water and we did bring in our uh, mutual aid partners Southington and Westfield um, for them to assist with water supply today. The fire marshal is investigating the cause and staying in Berlin Chamberlain Highway back open this morning after a serious car crash shut it down yesterday. We're taking a look at some photos from the scene. We are working to learn if anybody was injured plus the cause of this. We're going to bring you updates on the Channel 3 app. 95 in Madison back open as well after an overturned tractor trailer caused some problems last night. That crash backed up the highway between exit 61 and 62, had multiple lanes shut down. Fortunately, no one was hurt. In Colchester, police have identified a suspect related to a stolen food trailer. Take a look at your screen. This man, police arrested him, 37-year-old Daniel Fortier. We're going to get to that photo in just a second. But that man is from Torrington for theft. He is accused of stealing the trailer Saturday morning from Broadway Street. The trailer has since been recovered. Fortier is charged with criminal mischief and larceny after being spotted with the trailer near the Rusty Nail Bar and Grill Saturday night. That happened about 5.30. He was released on bond. And will be back in court on April 21st. Several state lawmakers say they want to make sure women here in our state do not lose access to abortion medication. Now, this comes after a Texas judge abruptly made a decision to eliminate access to a drug. Now, officials will meet today with the attorney general to outline their plan to fight what they call partisan extremists. That meeting will be at 10 o'clock at the state capitol. Scott. Channel 3 early morning dual pole radar. The only live Doppler radar in Connecticut scanning the state dry. Uh, it is absolutely delightful out there this morning. It's a little on the cool side. We have temperatures in the upper 20s in parts of the state. Not along the shoreline. We're doing a little bit better there. As you can see from the allergy report, the tree pollen is high. Maple, cedar, juniper, and alder are some of the trees that are contributing to this high pollen. And it's going to be high for days as we're not expecting any rain to wash it out of the atmosphere. <clears throat> Satellite and radar, let's widen out the shot. You can see here absolutely spectacular weather throughout the northeast. Uh, roads are dry, you are good to go, and the visibility is at a perfect 10. No fog, no problems this morning, except frost on your windshields in parts of northeast and northwest Connecticut. 28 in Willimantic right now, a little bit better in Putnam at 32. Bradley, you went from 36 to 30 back to 34. So the numbers are starting to rise a little bit. We're basically out of the upper 20s with the exception of Willimantic and Meriden, but it's still a pretty chilly start. You need a jacket out there this morning. And we're basically flat from where we were 24 hours ago. The winds are calm, so no wind chill this morning. Early morning future cast, tomorrow's weather today. I ran the clock down through 5 p.m. right before your very eyes, and you can see there is nothing on it. Now, tonight will be completely clear. And another chilly night, just not quite as chilly as it was this morning. And then tomorrow during the day, a disturbance is going to come in from the north and west, and that's going to produce some cloud coverage, but no rain. So we're expecting cloudy skies tomorrow afternoon and evening. That'll continue into early Wednesday morning, and then we get back to the mostly sunny skies. Here are the temperatures out there right now. 27 in Litchfield. That's chilly. But we got a three-way tie going on in stores, East Hartford and West Haven, at 37 degrees. All right, so here are your headlines. Clear and chilly to start. What a day of weather coming up. And a big warm-up this week as we take a look at our seven-day forecast in just a second. You're going to be amazed at what you're going to see. 63 to 67 is better than the mid to upper 50s we had yesterday, although yesterday was a 
beautiful day. Today is going to be even nicer with sunny skies. There are your highs for today, mid to upper 60s, sunny skies, warmer temperatures. The sun was up at 619, sets at 726. Your overnight lows tonight, there they are. Again, chilly, but a little bit better than where they are this morning. Mostly clear, not as chilly, but still a little on the cool side. And then your seven day forecast includes that increase in clouds tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, back to the partly to mostly sunny skies, 76 degrees, 81 on Thursday. Get the AC ready Friday, 86 degrees, 86 degrees. The normal high is about 56. Remarkable 77 on Saturday and Sunday. Really no rain in the forecast until next Monday, which is the 17th of April. So we're going to keep you posted on that. Here come your shoreline highs. I know you're going to be tempted to put those plants in, but make sure you know that the frost can still occur until Mother's Day, at least through Mother's Day. So put those hardy plants in, but uh, those annuals, you might want to hold off, okay? I know it's going to be tempting to do so, but you might want to hold off. That's a check of your early morning forecast. Kate, we'll send it back to you. All right, Scott, not a bad week to at least get the ground ready, though. Absolutely, clean it up. Yeah, all right. Well, as the state continues to celebrate the UConn men's basketball team winning their fifth championship, guess what? Donovan Klingen will be at Dick's Sporting Goods today to meet fans. The meet and greet will run from 6 to 7.30 tonight. It will be again at Dick's in Manchester. Klingen will be signing complimentary player cards and anything that you purchase in store. So if you'd like to head out, you have to purchase a wristband, which go on sale this morning at 9 o'clock. And from one NCAA champion to another, we are celebrating the Quinnipiac men's hockey team taking home their first ever national championship. They defeated Minnesota just 10 seconds into overtime. Now they're looking to celebrate. Today, the Bobcats are hosting a championship rally at the M&T Bank Arena right on Sherman Avenue in Hamden. Doors will open at 5 o'clock. Anyone and everyone welcome to attend. Cheer on those Bobcats. They deserve it. Well, Senator Richard Blumenthal recovering this morning after undergoing surgery yesterday. This was to repair a broken femur, which happened at the Yukon Victory Parade Saturday morning. Now, a parade goer tripped and fell on the senator's leg. A spokesperson says the surgery was successful and the senator already started physical therapy. Blumenthal is set to be back in Washington when the Senate session begins next week. Uniform Professional Firefighters Association of Connecticut hosting their annual fire, Arp, fire ops program today at the Hartford Fire Department Training Center. This program puts elected officials in the shoes of firefighters by participating in firefighting tasks, things like vehicle extractions and wearing protective gear. The association says they hope this can also bring up ensuring cancer coverage through workers' comp for firefighters as cancer risks and the job are two to three times higher than normal rates. That event starts at 8.30 this morning. Well, thanks so much for tuning in here to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get your news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day.